Guidelines for configuring Morpho Manager to work with Security Center. The Morpho Manager must be configured to work with Security Center using Morpho Client application. This video section will provide the details guidelines for configuring Morpho Manager to work with Security Center. Moreover, if you're interested to learn the integration between Morpho Biometric and Gentex Security Center, then go through with the previous videos of the integration before continue to watching this video for the clear understanding form the beginning. For your reference, we have uploaded two more videos for the same topic from the starting, the link of those videos given in the description. Without any ado, let's start the video. As we know that we have stopped our last video at ODBC database connection. Once we have tested the ODBC connectivity successfully, then go to Morpho Manager Client. To do that, go to Start Manu and do a click on Morpho Manager Client icon from the recent added list. The Morpho Manager Client Wizard will open. Log in into Morpho Manager Server by entering the user credentials. If you are going to log in first time, then use the default user credentials, that is administrator is the username, and password is, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D, all characters are in lower case. If you don't know how to download, and install Morpho Manager Server, and client software. Check out my upcoming video for that. As of now, let's log in into the server using default credentials. Once entered the credentials, click on login. This software required product registration. You can use this product for up to 7 days without registration after installation. It's asking that, would you like to register now? To learn how to register, Morpho Manager software, without any charges, I mean free registration, check out my upcoming video. As of now, to continue the client configuration, click on No. At the top of the home screen, there is a set of tabs, Home, Administration, User Management, Biometric Identification, Access Logs, and Reports, and a set of buttons on the home screen. Select an item to enter that section. At the bottom of the home screen is a link to Morpho Manager updates. If you have access to the Internet, you will be directed to this area which will be updated with news and information regarding Morpho Manager patches and important messages. The right-hand side of the screen displays the system status and system information. System status contains a count of the total number of biometric devices and their current status. It also contains a count of the total number of users within the system and the total number of access logs. System information contains the installed version number and your server serial code. As we are working on integration part, we have to set up the BioBridge connectivity between the Morpho Manager and Gentex Security Center. For that we have to configure BioBridge in the Morpho client. BioBridge allows you to extract user data from compatible third-party systems. User or grouping information can be synced by the BioBridge enrollment client when you set the configurations for the respective third-party system. You can set rules for when data is synced between both parties. To set up the BioBridge, go to Administration tab from the main menu, and then scroll down and navigate to System Configuration. The System Configuration tab will open. Then go to BioBridge. The Morpho BioBridge setting tab will open. Choose your BioBridge compatible system from the drop-down menu. Here, I will select Morpho Manager Universal BioBridge for Gentex Security Center integration. Then click on Configure Connection. The Morpho Manager Universal BioBridge Connection Wizard will open. Please select the provider in the drop-down list. But make sure you have selected ODBC Connection Provider and then make sure you have selected Use Basic Connection String. Next, please enter the DSN name of the ODBC data source you would like to connect. Here I will enter the Gentech Morpho plugin, which was created in the previous video, for your reference the link of the video given in the description. And then please enter the login credentials of the database. Once everything done, click on OK. Once the database connected, all the hidden options will appear for further configuration. As you can see on the screen, scroll down and check the other options.
To continue save the setting, by clicking on Save button. You do not have any user distribution group map to select BioBridge. You will not be able to see any user in the BioBridge enrollment client unit grouping. Are you sure you want to save? We have not configured the user distribution group yet. Due to that is given prior notice. However, further in this video we will do that setting as well. As of now click on Yes, to continue. Now let's add biometric card reader, into Morpho Manager server. Biometric devices from three different hardware families can be added here. The MA100, MAJ, MA500, and MAVP family. The MA Sigma Massachusetts Sigma Lite, and MA Sigma Lite Plus, the Morpho 3D Face, the Morpho Wave, and the Morpho Tablet Terminal. To add new devices, go to Home Screen. Go to Administration tab. For adding a new biometric device, select the biometric device from the Items menu, located at left side of the screen. Then click on Add, from Toolbar. Here enter the details of the biometric device which you want to add. And make sure the biometric device is connected to the local area network, and it's communicating with your computer. In the Name field, type the name of the biometric device. In the Description field, enter a description of the biometric device. In the Location field, enter the installed location of the biometric device. Then enter Asset ID, as per your requirements. The Export value. This value is typically used for access log exporting when the Morpho Manager data needs to be exported to a third-party payroll package. It can have a maximum of 20 characters. When the access logs are exported, the value specified here will be used as the biometric device name in the output exported file. This again depends on the particular requirements of the payroll package and the access log exporter that is configured in the system configuration under general settings. Time zone. It is important that this field is entered correctly as it will affect the time displayed on the biometric device and in which time zone access logs are recorded. Hardware family. Corresponds to the model of the biometric. As mentioned above biometric devices from three different hardware families can be added here. I have Sigma Lite Plus device installed on site. So I will select the Emma Sigma, Sigma Lite, Emma Sigma Lite Plus, and Emma Sigma Extreme family, from the list. Serial number. This field is required for the Morpho Tablet Terminal device, but not needed for the other hardware families. The serial number can be found on the device under Settings, About Tablet, and Status. Host Name, or IP Address. This value is critical, so enter the IP address of the selected biometric device. Port. This is the default that Morpho Manager software is expecting, keep the port value as default. Biometric Device Profile. This will allow a common settings and parameters profile to be set for the device added. The profile itself is created in the biometric device profile section of administration, as of now keep it as default. Include in time and attendance exports. Enable if the gathered data is to be sent to a payroll or rostering package. For the Gentech integration we know needs to enable it. Change user on site or off site status. Enable if on-site or off-site events are to be recorded. For the Gentech integration we know needs to enable it. On-site key. Determines which function key on the device will be utilized to set a user on-site. Keep it as default. Off-site key. Determines which function key on the device will be utilized to set a user off-site. Keep it as default. After all information has been entered. Click Finish to save the changes or cancel to discard the changes. You will now see the new biometric device in the window, and its status will be online. Provided the PC and device are correctly connected and configured, the tasks column shows the count of the queued or the failed tasks. The video is going lengthy. I will stop here. We will continue in the next video. Up to now we have learned in this video how to configure BioBridge and how to add biometric devices in the Morpho Manager. Hope you understood that. If you have any questions, 
or concerns about the integration, you can contact us for technical support, anytime from anywhere. Thank you for watching this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.